Hi, and welcome to the 2020 New Year Oracle Reading. So we're going to see what the cards want to tell us about what's coming up for us in this new year. And I'm really excited to see if there's any new messages that come through, because it seems like a lot of what's been coming through over pretty much this whole past year have been very similar themes. So, I mean, this is a brand new decade we're going to be popping into right now. So let's see if anything new wants to present itself today. That's what I'm looking forward to. Let's see what happens. Hi, I'm Linda Armstrong. If you don't already know me, I am a spiritual awakening coach and an energy healer. And I like to talk about all things to do with expanding your awareness, your consciousness, really stepping into your truth to live a life that you love. So now, let's see what these cards have in store. I pre-shuffled all of the decks because I noticed in my last um, last reading, the shuffling was kind of annoying to me anyway. It was pretty loud, uh, too close to the microphone. So I shuffled them all up, and we're just going to pick cards from each deck and see what this new year brings for us. So the first one I have... In the reverse position, um, seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel, but it's in the reverse. So I'm going to read it straight from the book and see what that wants to tell us. Um, 41 reversed, and we have, okay, so this one. So this card, the main topic is spirit connections, intuition, and inspiration. So in the reverse position, it indicates a block to your own intuition and a potential and to the potential help and power from the spirit world. Perhaps you fear opening up to this side of your life, or perhaps it's just something that seems foreign or unrealistic. Either way, it's time to awaken to the beauty and the power of this realm. See your crown chakra spinning in a beautiful violet or white light and call upon Uriel's passion and power to help bring this connection into being. Once you're open to the incredible peace and power that spirit can bring, your life will never be the same. <laughs> All right, I'll take that one. That's a great way to start out. Um, so so we'll just, just with that intention to open that crown chakra, that connection, to the spirit world to recognize i mean you're getting communication all the time it's just sometimes people don't understand it or don't acknowledge it when it happens and the more you acknowledge little signs that come from the universe from your guides your angels um coincidences synchronicities they're all messages for you you know and always really just feel it with your gut like what do you know you know um, what feels true to you? If you always ask for a truth, what is true here? You can usually feel yourself making that connection to the spirit world, to, to feel it and sense it and know it for yourself. So pay attention to the signs. Um, great way to start out. If, if you, I think a lot of the people that come to my channel are already have this connection going. So maybe it's, well, for new people... <laughs> This could be a, a brand new opening for you, right? To realize there's so much more than what we think there is or what we've been led to believe as we're growing up that there that there is. Um, yeah, and, and if you're aware of this, so maybe just putting a little more focus and attention on um, that spiritual connection. Because you know, sometimes as people are wake, awakening, they do these things, but only when they think of it. It hasn't become like a habit for them to really always tune in and feel what's right for you. Tap into inspiration because your answers will come if you just ask for them. And, uh, and really noticing, like taking time to be present and to notice things that are popping up in your awareness rather than just hurrying through your life. I mean, this is 2020 coming up, right? A whole new decade. Let's approach the rest of our lives with... Um, knowing that there's help for us out there in spirit and that we can have that connection and that communication. Okay, so this next card says, Inspired Juggler. <laughs> All right, well, look, inspired. Here's another inspirational type of a thing. Um, actually, I'm not sure what this card's going to say, so we're going right to the book. I, mean, I usually like to go to the book anyway. 
um, you know, so that I, you can interpret it how it, how, use your intuition and interpret what the cards mean for you besides the words I might be attaching to them. So, inspired juggler, and it seems I need glasses today. You were born to organize. You are the multitasking extraordinaire that others wish they could be. You have an astonishing ability to keep all the balls in the air at once. The vibration of control whilst in chaos is your key to success. Ah, again, that could be opening the awareness and being able to handle, having that openness to be able to handle more things at the same time. Um, vibration of control whilst in chaos is your key to success. It is a balance within the confusion and disorder. Be amazed. Don't underestimate what you can truly achieve. All right. So maybe that's a message of um, not limiting yourself, right? And or I, I would even take it as not even doubting in your ability to take on new things, to manage moving out of one way of being into a new way of being, to be within maybe both of those energies at the same time so that you can have this kind of a, a smooth transition into all the newness that is coming for you in this next year. Um, possibly even taking on a few other things that you were not really open to before and seeing how they can play a part within all that you are going to be stepping into creating because some of us are really starting to go into a whole new direction and that could be kind of scary <laughs> that could be really scary all right so let's see what the enchanted map wants us to see okay i forgot i already shuffle no need to shuffle and we have wizard of awareness but it was reverse wizard of awareness reverse okay Let's get a number on that. Number three. Hmm. I things for me that number three is is like a, a key number in my life anyway. Okay, number three. Let's see. And it was reverse. So it's about your soul knows best. Be still and observe. Okay, in the reverse, the wizard of awareness comes to you in this position to warn you that. Too much force behind a desire for a specific outcome robs you of your true and full experience. Oh yeah, well we've talked about that a lot in the past, right? Getting stuck into your limited capacity of knowing what possibilities are there for you. You know, when you open your awareness, you open to the millions of opportunities of um, ways of being, of possibilities that could come into for you, into your life. Um, it says... Step back, take your energy away from your situation and focus on gratitude for the ever-changing conditions of life. Maybe this ties into that juggling too, right? And maybe this really is about transitioning into something new because, hey, it's a whole new decade. And I tell you, this past year, I know with a lot of people I've worked with, myself, people I know that are just friends, family, so many of us are moving into a whole different... I was gonna say way of being, but really into whole new careers even, you know, like just really changing things up big time, moving to different places. Um, anyway, it says, are you perhaps trying to control the outcome of something because you don't trust in your higher good? See, that ties into the first card with really allowing that inspiration and intuition to come through. You know, having that open sh crown chakra to receive what is coming for you. So it says, meditate, be still, and your answers will come without any effort on your part. So that's the whole thing. When we open our awareness and our consciousness, um, we are in a, in a more open and allowing position to have this these new inspiration ideas just pop in like that, right? And then be able to move throughout whatever these transitions might be of the new awarenesses that are coming in. So it says, be a neutral observer and you'll see how this, how this moment is but a small marker on the map of your life's journey. Yeah, because, you know, nothing ever stays the same. We're, things are constantly changing. Everything's always, nothing ever stays the same. <laughs> and especially as you open your awareness and you realize more of your truth, 
um, and you can see maybe the judgments and limitations you put on yourself that have kept you in this um, smaller space. Now, that's what that's why it's really important to expand your awareness and your consciousness so that you can open up to all that wants to come for you. It it'll, it will just drop in. Maybe that's the message for this 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 reading is to really really maybe focus on expanding your awareness moving into a higher consciousness every single day not just sometimes because you heard about this or this is new for you and you're a little bit um not sure of how to handle it um that's why you can come to me because i'm a, a coach for these kind of things oh okay sound check huh i have no clue what that's about number 12 let's see how that ties into us <laughs> the more you pay attention to the energy around you the quicker you activate your clear audience okay to be able to hear messages that want to come through from your higher self from your guides your angels like really tapping into opening up that bridge from that crown chakra to the spirit world um to to your higher self to you to know you more fully okay uh says the ability to tune into your higher self angels and guides right opening up and activating your clear audience with this awakening however comes more responsibility as a newly developing sixth sensory being just as you are just as your sensitivity levels are rising to in, to intercept higher soul supporting frequencies right making that connection it all ties together so too is your sensitivity to negative soul deliberating vibrate the de debilitating vibrations ah consequently excessive exposure to dissonant and noisy vibrations will leave you feeling drained and irritable yeah that's really something to point out because as you are opening that awareness and that's why I'll, you know a lot of times i speak to you want to check like when sometimes if your energy dips you want to check and see you know is this mine because you might be picking up somebody else's energy and holding it within your system. Um, anyway, I don't want to go off on, on, on a whole other topic, but it says your angels and helper guides are advising you to surround yourself with most the most harmonious sounds and vibrations possible so that, so that those that communicate love, gentle acceptance, and harmony to keep your energy in balance. Be especially mindful of what you listen to day by day. I would say stop listening to the news okay all negative um step okay she's saying it too step away from in uh i don't know this word enervating noise the minute you hear it this means you need to turn off violent tv programs avoid negative talk radio shun gossip and refrain from criticism be sensitive to your spirit's needs for sweet vibrations your spirit is delicate and vulnerable but not weak and it thrives best in vibrations of harmony and tranquility listen to this message and it's good sound yeah so that's really really key very important uh, i love that that message came through because that could be part of that that inspired juggler card too you know um knowing which energies are you know in navigating through all these different energies that are coming through because you are expanding your awareness and knowing which ones feel true to you which ones are yours if you're carrying any of somebody else's vibration and energy um and then you can and when you feel that and you're like oh this isn't even my energy um you just send it back with consciousness right wherever it came from you don't have to even know where it came. oh surrender <laughs> this is our last card okay surrender and uh, it says, all is well. I surrender to my inner guidance. Oh, so that's it. We're opening up. We can't, everybody's opening up, whether they're aware of it or not. Eventually, the awareness will come to them. But I th I'd say anybody listening to me talking on this channel, um, your, your awareness, you're, you're in it. <laughs> you're aware. And you're opening up more and more and more and more. Okay, surrender so yeah so maybe it is juggling those things come around looking at the different opportunities that want to come to you because when we 
and, and moving out of judgment. I just have to say that. Uh, when we get into judgment of ourselves or of others, that confines us too. It doesn't allow us to be open to the many possibilities because we're limiting the information, the ideas around whatever it is that we're judging. And uh, we want to be open. We want to constantly be open to possibilities, you know, really noticing the inspirations as they come, you know, seeing it. Sometimes an idea pops in, you're like, oh, that's a good idea, I'll get back to that later. And then you're so busy, you never get back to it, right? Pay attention to what's coming in. Okay, so surrender, the card meaning, and this is the last card I'll do today, is let go and let God. All is well. You don't have to do it all alone. Release negative thoughts about yourself, for your life is divinely guided. Your soul wants you to know letting go can heal the need to be in control. The stress of unfulfilled expectations, the anguish of demanding how things should be. See, again, that's it. We have to stop limiting ourselves. I know a great tool of access consciousness is to just ask questions. And don't try to figure out the answers. Let the universe answer it for you. Because it really, when you start, when you don't, when you stop yourself from trying to figure it out, you'll notice you do relax and you do open and you start to feel that support. And then you see these little signs that come to you and you're like, yeah, why didn't I do this before? <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to start again because I don't know where I was. I'm so excited about this reading because I, I really like it. So it says, your soul wants you to know. Letting go can heal the need to be in control, the stress of unfulfilled expectations, the anguish of demanding how things should be, and the tension of wanting others to act in particular ways. Oh, yeah. These things constantly lead to disappointment and unhappiness. Although there's a time to hold on as if your life is dependent on it, there's also the moment to just let go. Now is the time to surrender. Remember that you aren't yielding to a force outside of yourself. You're giving in to your soul, right? You're letting yourself be what you came here to be. Um, by releasing your hold, you're allowing the creative forces of the universe to spiral through you. See, that's when you'll know the inspiration. You'll feel it. You'll, you'll see it all around you. Um, you're permitting the creator to give you direction and inspiration. You don't have to do it all by yourself. Help is all around you. Open your heart and let it in. Open your heart and let it in. Yep, that's it. Let's stop struggling through life. Let's start moving through life more joyfully. Um, it's hard to get out of that habit of trying to figure it all out. I mean, I've done videos on that too. Try, you know, stop trying to figure it all out. I think that was one of the videos. Um, because it just keeps you stuck. Yeah. And even though I know that, I can get caught up in that trap too. And I was definitely there earlier this year, you know, and I'm like, whoa, why, what, what's going on here? So luckily, you don't beat yourself up, you're right? Like, why did I fall into that trap again? Or, you know, forget those questions. We don't need those questions. We want uplifting questions, right? Like, how can I move further from here? What is there about this situation that I'm not seeing that's actually for my highest good? Don't try to figure it out. Just put the questions out there, right? What's next for me on my path? What is it that I can do that will fill me up with so much joy each and every day, right? If you're not sure what your life purpose is. Uh, you know, there's just so many things. So ask questions of what it is that you are desiring um, in a way that opens you up to be able to have answers come in. And then notice them. And acknowledge them and then uh, another great thing you can say every time something happens whether it's good or bad is how does it get any better than this all right so let's ask that question how does 2020 get any better than 19 uh, what year are we in <laughs> 2019 <laughs> okay I, I just left my body I'm back again um, yeah, because I'm getting excited about this. This is really cool, and I can't wait to see what comes through. I'm going to do my January reading probably a week or two into the month. I want to sit with this one and see how these things start to develop. And so anyway, I'm wishing you a wonderful, 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 happy, loving, healthy, joyous 2020. Let's all decide to have fun.
right? Let's let that inner child be out. Let the, our true self that is joyful, that knows what's best, that can feel and sense what things are truly right for me on my path. Let's be that. Really, really step into it. We all know about it. Uh, many people watching my videos know that this is what they're moving into. Um, and sometimes we just don't hold it all the time, right? So it's just keeping on, keep on bringing yourself back to center, back to your truth, right? Sit in meditation. Just go out in nature. Feel the sun on your face. You know, watch the birds. Do things that light you up, that lift you up, that allow for this inspiration to come in, that really help you to feel that connection. I mean, sometimes you can be outside and you just feel yourself expand into whatever beauty is all around you, right? Or maybe just the temperature triggers that and you're like, ah, oh, this is, oh, this is, oh. or feeling that sun, right? Or listening to the birds. There's so many things you can do to really keep yourself in that expansive energy that allows for so much more. So let's see what happens in 2020. I'll see you on another video. Please like, share, subscribe, comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Bye.